Welcome to the Jayco Conquest Motorhome. We're going to start off our inside tour on the drifter screen here. This is our master 12 volt switch. Okay, this has got to be in the on position like this at all times whenever we're using the van or charging the van. If we're not using it, we'll have it in the off position and it will say battery off there as well. Okay, but right now we want to use our 12 volt. We turn that on. We can see our charge center on our battery is nice and full, sitting at 13 volts now. Okay, our time is 252 and it's about 18 degrees inside. Our fresh water is about half full and we do have a bit in the wastewater tank which will empty before it drives. In order to use that water, we've got our water pump switch, which is this one here. Okay, we use that when we need to pump up the water. We've got a little backlight so we can see it at night time. The home button gets in so we can um, adjust the time inside into the menu. Okay, so that's our master 12 volt box just there. Things like our radio, the fusion system, work off the 12 volt power system. Okay, so it, the little S there is our on and off button and also the source button going from the radio through to Bluetooth and USB if you've got those as well and we hold that source button down to turn it off. Our lights as well all work off the 12 volt. So with our little reading lights, if you just tap it, you'll get the blue light, which is good as a night light your eyes can adjust to. Also mozzies don't get attracted to it, but if you hold it in, you'll get that bright white light there. And then you'll see other little switches all the way around, similar to the light switches here as well. Straight above, we've got our hot water service, which is going to turn on with gas on this switch just here. So if we have our gas bottles on, we flick the switch here and we wait about 15 minutes and we have hot water coming through on the gas system. Okay. If the light stays red like it is, the gas bottle um, is probably not turned on or has a bit of a gas lock. So just turn it off and start again. Okay. We'll see our circuit breaker above. So if that's tripped, our air conditioner, microwave and 240 power points won't work. Um, so just reset that there. This model has a diesel heater, which is the Ibispacha. So this little button on the side, the little heat strips, we just want to press that in so our green light comes on and it turns on. It pulls from the diesel from the fuel tank and then you can adjust the temperature and the fan speed with this switch here as well. So within about 15 to 20 minutes again, you'll start to feel some warm air out of those black vents uh, right near the bed area. Okay. We'll also talk about the fridge, which is a AES or an MES fridge. So it's automatic or manual mode, whichever one you want. Okay. So the first one is our power on and off. The mode is selecting which power source is available to us. So we've got gas available right now. 240 kicks in we want the 240 light to shine and then when the engine runs we want to work off the dc so whenever we're free camping we work off gas at a caravan park we work off ac and dc for when we're driving off the battery current there okay we can set our thermostat and we can just adjust that like so as well but if this is left in aes mode it will actually find the best power source for you so as soon as you plug into 240, it will kick in um, straight onto that for you there. And if we don't want it on at all, we turn that off in that position just there. 